Welcome back to another episode of TVGP's We Roguelike at the show. We're playing every roguelike in history and playing too much vampire survivors. I'm your host, Boston. Joining me as always is Moonpeer. Hi. Boy, uh, I played too much of this again this week. Um, I started strong with this. I'm not going to lie. I started the week real strong. Hmm. And then for reasons which you are aware, ended mm -hmm. poorly this week yeah. with not really playing anything. Right. Um, I feel like it did a lot in the short time I played it, I will say. Um, okay. I finally got that book of secrets that you were talking about. Um, <laughs> yep. I, I finally got the clappy hands. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the yellow clapping hands. Uh -huh. No idea what to do with that. Yep. I said the game was too hard when asked if it was too hard or too easy. Mm -hmm. um, so I got an uh, I unlocked the eternal mode yes which is uh, entertaining okay yep. sure I did I did get the uh, the limit break that you were talking about which is just like okay mm -hmm. I guess have you, have you um, been able to use the limit break yet I have okay um, I after a while I was just like just random it. I don't care. Just random I, every time. I really like that they have the always random option because it's just like, look, I'm you. I don't care which one of these you're gonna boost. Is my initial assumption when it I unlock limit break, the description is like, you know, you're gonna be able to power up your weapons beyond the normal limits, and I was like, what am I gonna do with like Santa Water level fifteen? Like that's like what am why, why would I use this? And then once you get those evolutions, you get everything evolved, and it it starts boosting the evolved items past what they are. And I was like, ah, that is way stronger than I thought it was going to be. That's incredible. I'm gonna keep using that. Yep. Um. I I've, I've been slowly what like because I turned off the the I showed I did the hide the the unlocked uh, items right. thing. And I've been working my way down that list, trying Me to do too. bit by bit by bit by bit. Yeah, uh, I did hit a level 100 with the panda, which was okay. <laughs> so that's a sure. really weird weapon that panda has. Uh huh. Uh, I think it's cookies, isn't it? And he just throws them out, and they have a, a chance to explode. It's like, okay. yeah, it's sure. Odd. Why yeah. now? I did get a 31 minute run. Uh, nice. At last. Congrats. Um. Did you use the, the think that, cloak to do it? The cloak? No. Ah, uh, well, that that's the the. I'll give you a tip. Um, if you create the cloak now that you have the yellow clapping hands, you can evolve two more items. Um, okay. And they are when you start a level, there are paired items to the east and west, and paired items I've to the north and south. I have been experimenting with those. Yeah. Um, uh, I have got to a point where I have maxed out the gold ring and the right thing and the silver ring and the left thing. Okay. Um, I be death with the clock. Yes. Yeah. Um, and got the ring um, rather yes. than the rather than whatever this cloak is. Yeah. So um, if you if you pick up the the two rings, they give you in Symphony of the Night style. They will tell you what item it synergizes with. Um, and then if you pick the other two items, the like left and right arrows, I will spare you the the confusion. They they um, synergize with the laurel to turn into something that will essentially guarantee you a 31 minute run. If you have a if you have okay. a run, if you have a run that will get you to 30 minutes, that will essentially get you the longest run I have on record at the moment is a 37 and a half minute run um because okay. i just the funny part is when 30 minutes comes the like the red death comes to get you um i had both of the sets of items unlocked um so essentially he couldn't touch me so every 30 seconds after that they send another death at you um so essentially uh -huh. by the end i had like 10 deaths frozen and i'm like okay i'm ready to uh, kind of finish the run here if you guys could kind of get get I, to business I did that too. <laughs> yeah i did it too where i had like three of them and i was just like okay 
Uh, yeah. I guess <laughs> this works. Um, I also had a run yeah, that's where how I... I... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, that's how I broke that timeline. I think it was like maybe 31 and change is what I had, but I'm just calling mm-hmm. it 31 to make it 31. Um, and then I got like... Because I'm pretty sure I did that with the skeleton. Um, oh, okay. Because I'm trying different characters. Yep. Because I don't want to be constantly playing as garlic guy because <laughs> I can't right. unlock the cookies unless I get that guy to level 100. So I'm right. really trying to... It sounds like we're, pl- we're high as hell right now. I can't unlock the cookies That's right. unless I level up my guy. That's right. And then when but- I level up my guy, uh, it's going to be great. I, I the dog that farts totally just flowers. Yeah. yeah. What? I, I man, I don't know. I don't, One of the weirdest. I did, I, I did a level 100 run with him too, by the yep. way. Ditto. Um, um, yeah, I... I played, I only have um, five more achievements to go. <laughs> I, I'm, I, the smartest thing that I think they did in this game was having that um, unlocks menu and being able to to hide the stuff you've already, already completed. Because I'm just like, well, now I have like a checklist of everything to go. Play uh-huh. as this person, survived a level 80, play for 31 minutes on this level. Great. And knock out two or three things all at once here. Play as, yep. um, play as this dog and do something? Cool. I can do that. I'll do another run. No big deal. Uh, I know I've gone into this ass backwards because the items I unlocked was like, oh, I got like um, reject three yep. achievement. And then I got the reject two achievement. And then I got <laughs> the reject one achievement. So yep. like, depending on my play style, I'm doing it backwards and weird. Yep. And it's just like, okay, I guess. Sure. <clears throat> why not? Yeah, I only have a a couple more uh, achievements left. I only have, I think I have about half of the secrets left. Um, But I'm going to look those up this week because I honestly have no idea what half of them mean or or how to to do them. Um, I have one of them unlocked that I'm not sure I know how I unlocked, but I unlocked the bird character. Um, Okay, I don't know if I have that one. (laughs) <laughs> yep um it's the oh the bird that starts level. with with like a um a random weapon it's like a, a bird with long tail feathers yes yeah like i don't know but, i don't remember okay. how to i don't remember how to do that um i i think because i got it because i think it's have two best friends and go near this mirror on this level and I think it's probably the two, the white and the black bird. You have to have them, and then you go into the mirror. Um, mm, sure. And then it watch Gully. With a pure heart and, and it, two good friends, visit the fiery balcony in Capella Magna. So no curse is what I'm guessing there. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Th- when I clicked on pure heart, it was like golden eggs, and it's like I, that's not even a topic I want to uh, address. <laughs> no, we eggs. don't want to talk about golden eggs. No, golden eggs are great. Uh, I I love having a a permanent account wide item boost, but uh-huh. it took me so long to figure out how I was getting these things that I felt. It a took little me bit about three foolish. runs. Yeah, uh, it took me about three runs because it's like well. What is this golden circle that's got an arrow pointing to it on my screen? Mm-hmm. And then I realized it's because it's anytime I kill one of the defenders of the the ring, one of those like robe and mask guys. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's anytime I kill one of them, that's when it seems to have issues, and it's like okay, that's when I, that's when I'm getting the 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 golden eggs. So sure, why not? Yeah. Um, what else happened? Oh, there's a new patch this week. Um, one point ten. I think is the the new patch that just came out. Um, there are two new achievements. Um, at the point we are at in the game, they're in the unlocks menu and they're pretty easy. I think the the first one you'll do is like play the the up and down vertical castle, the inverted version of that, um, which is just one of those check boxes, um, and. When you clear that, you get another level uh, called Tiny Bridge. 
and it is a a bridge that's horizontal that is just about the size of your character height wise um so it is pretty rough <laughs> it is a, it is a pretty challenging level um uh thankfully only a 20 minute uh time limit and the very first item I picked up was that bouncing crystal thing, and that thing destroyed on that level. That was all oh, right. The um, the rune scaper or something like that. I know it's that's something a like that. Yeah. Don't don't come at me. Um, <laughs> rune tracer, rune tracer. Yes, 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 yes. So, I have a couple of complaints, which is okay. unusual. Okay. So far, we've been all positive about this game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My main complaint number one: is too many items. Yeah, I, I, I feel I'm, like I can't build anymore towards a specific loadout because it's like here is six items, mm -hmm. pick one, and it's like none of these is what I want to work towards this build. It, it's just not. Once I maxed out banish, I feel like that's when the the it flipped to the other side because then now I can banish. 10 individual items so i'm like look i'm gonna banish the knife and the axe and this and that and this thing like i don't need those i'm not still building don't towards get those how much you don't like the axe like the axe is still no the so axe is the axe is great but there are times where i'm building uh like one of my favorite builds is santa water evolve that um the king bible and evolve that the um uh garlic and evolve that and then the wand and then if I can pick either the axe and evolve that or the, um, oh, what's the other one that I really like? Uh, biscuits. I don't remember. Um, but like those first four ones are kind of the ones I really like. Oh, the fire wand. I, I kind of like that one too. It's not the strongest, um, but I'm usually picking up spinach anyways because it's so strong. So I might as well because evolve the, damage, the yeah. thing. Um, uh -huh. So I, I, I like going for either an AOE build or a projectile build. I didn't yep. realize how overpowered the projectile build was until I got one really solidly built. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, oh, wait, I've got my wand firing constantly. I'm never stopping throwing knives. Each one of those is shooting on. like 15 things every time. Uh-huh. And it's like, okay, so I'm clearing a path in front of me with my knives. Yep. I'm clearing whatever's closest with the wand. And then the fire is just leaving swathes of destruction in its path, mm -hmm. and it's just like, okay, I guess the projectile build works too. Uh, Have you evolved the two guns? Not yet. Oh, oh man, <laughs> I'm not going to spoil that one. I've I've had them both maxed out, but I've never evolved them. Like that's yeah. the blue and red circles, isn't yep. it? Though? Yep. Yeah. And the, so it, it will need one need more item. Else. Yeah, yeah. It, I'm just guessing it's a uh, one of the secondary items. I just wouldn't know which one. Yeah, I I can tell you if you'd like. If you don't want to keep experimenting, sure. Why not? It's the uh, tiramisu. It it's the okay. two guns and then that thing, and it turns into something a hundred percent bonkers. See, I like getting. <sighs> this is the min max in me here. Uh -huh. I like getting the two weapons that turn into one. I really do. Yes. Like, if the birds show up early for me, I'm like, get me them birds because I'll, I want I'll a take both powerful bird yep. that gives me an extra weapon slot once it's evolved. 100%. Perfect. Yep. Because I don't... The six limit is understandable. Like, the six item limit, I get it. It's that, I get that that's, on, that's there for a reason. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, come on. Like, uh, I'm... <laughs> Because I don't like the fact that you can max out all six, six and six, and then you can still go and pick up the ring and the arrows. Yes, right. So it's like, I don't want to go for them until I've got six items I'm comfortable with in that bottom shelf. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. I'm wasting a space for mm -hmm. my build. Like, well, it's... and even better, the bracelet upgrades three times. So like you're evolving the same slot multiple times to make it stronger. Which is even better. So if you can find like the bracelet or one of the rings, the bracelet. I don't. I don't know if you've unlocked that yet. Um, that Probably was not. one of the last things I unlocked. Was that? Um, and then 
to make matters worse, I don't know if you have evolved. There are two weapons that are similar that can evolve that can evolve together after one of them if, evolves. If you're talking about the whip, no, I haven't done that with the whip yet. It is also great taking like these two weapons that are taking up a slot each and then mushing them together to turn into this like super weapon and freeing up that slot. Because I noticed like four people I've got on lock now have different kinds of whips and it's just like, come on. Yep. <laughs> these have to go together at some point. Yep. Um I I do agree with you though. I think I wish there were more and I'm I I might not have them unlocked, so you know, nobody hassle me too much if this is the case. But I kinda wish there was like I can do, I think, four rerolls right now. I kind of wish there were, like, two more. I can do ten banishes, which feels okay. Um, and I wish I had, like, maybe two more skips. Um, and I would probably feel pretty good at that point. Um, I know the, the, the goal isn't to have you have the same build each and every time. But... I'm kind of having fun doing that, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, this has been the ultimate, like, I don't want to think kind of game. Yep. Uh, as we approach the end of the year and all the chaos and anarchy happening in my current life, mm -hmm. um, it's like, this has been a really solid go-to of, like, yeah, I'm just going to run around in circles for a while and, like, listen to the pops as the garlic kills people or try and work yep. on a new build or... Or, like you said, like having that unlock list right there where it can be like, okay, I'm just going to play as this character because that's how, why I played as the dog. Because it was just like, yeah. I guess I'm going to play as the dog. I do have the shopkeeper available in every place now too, so that's yep. fun. Um, but yeah, it's... If think... this game is not in discussion for Game of the Year this year for a lot of outlets, then those outlets yeah. are doing things wrong as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, because I, I think the thing that struck me this week, to to your point about um, this being, it's not an easy game. I mean, it, it sort of is now that we're, we're sort of in the late game. Um, but I think, for me, the strongest point of so many of these roguelikes that kind of figure it out, and I think Vampire Survivor is, is probably the best example for me to point to, is, especially with the time limit in this game, this really feels like an arcade game. Like, it really feels uh -huh. very much like this is a short experience. You get 30 minutes, you're going to pop another quarter in, and you're going to see what happens this time. And I, I think the best roguelikes turn into an experience like that of like, yeah, this is this is an arcade game. Like, I'm, I put a quarter in for 30 minutes, I had fun, I played a character, I'm going to try something different this time. And, um, you know, it's, especially with the... Um, whatever level it is where you're fighting it's one of the bonus levels where you're fighting all the enemies from every area kind of all mixed together it's like yeah oh. man like you you kind of figured out how to turn this game into a cool kind of bite-sized thing and i i really appreciate that and i think that's yeah. one of the game's strongest suits oh 100 percent. yeah um uh my final sign off for today is i did break the game at one point this week which... okay if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen me post this clip. Um, I don't know if you, if uh, you saw it. Yes, I did. So, I don't know what happened. I genuinely don't. Mm -hmm. I was on the Bone Zone, um, trying to... That name is still correct. <laughs> yeah. um, trying to figure out how to get the yellow book, I think it is. The Limit Break. Yeah. Uh, turns out you get it by killing the giant ball of bones. Um, mm -hmm. Which I tried previously and did not succeed at. It's a great um, boss. It's so good. <laughs> So I don't know, well, I think execution-wise it's great because when I didn't couldn't beat it last time, it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and that yep. was hilarious to me. Um, I wouldn't know if it was a good fight now because I've already beat it. Mm -hmm. And I did it while I essentially bugged the game. Okay. So whatever happens, uh, I picked up something. I was playing as the Cookie Monster Panda guy. Mm -hmm. Um. And I picked up the, the mana spell. Yeah, the song of mana. Yeah. And that always breaks the game. 
<laughs> I, I I have that happen to me so many times. Song of I I don't pick up Song of Mana anymore because it just there's something about it on some of the levels. Some of the other ones are fine. It just slows the game down to a crawl sometimes. So I had that, and then I also had the gravity effect based on your attract thing. Yeah. Um, and I had something else happening. And with the gravity effect, it's kind of cool because a bunch of red planets go in circles around it's, the it's, area. It's effect, so cool looking. Which is a really cool effect. But something happened, and then all of a sudden, it was basically just firing the Song of Mana constantly. Yes. To the point where <laughs> it was just a white beam. There was nothing yep. else. I couldn't see my character. There was just a white beam. Mm -hmm. And then because it was firing so frequently, the entire screen got filled with red planets. Yes. <laughs> yep. I had that happen I too. Like, I was like, well, okay, I guess. And then it was going, like you said, it did slow down. It was going like every one second in game was two seconds in real life. Yep. Um, and I was like, well, okay, I guess I'm going to slowly but surely walk my way towards this big bone thing and see, you know, if <laughs> I can kill it. The ball of bones. <laughs> and I did at mm -hmm. level 45 or something like that. Oh, because wow. that's when it's happened. Yeah. Picked up the thing and I was like, well, I wonder if death can kill me. <laughs> sure. So I waited mm -hmm. and waited a long time. Mm-hmm. And it, it, I noticed that as I was as boss eye monsters were appearing on the edge of the screen, they would go into the red planet sphere and just be destroyed in less than a second. <laughs> They'd just be vaporized, <laughs> like because that's exactly what happened to the ball of bones. I just yep. stood near it for le like a half a second, and the thing vanished. And I was like, right now, I've got to try and like wiggle my way around frame by frame <laughs> to collect the thing that it dropped. Right. I had like six deaths on the screen at one point. Yep. And as soon as they approached me, they stopped, froze, and died. And, and then they're dead. <laughs> yeah. I could, I literally started chasing them to try and get them to kill me so I could right. end the run. Yeah. And I, I couldn't get near them. So I ended up having to pause it and quit the game for it to actually end that run. And I was just yeah. like, oh, come on. That's it wild. was insane. Uh, so that's probably my longest run, and that was probably like 37 minutes, but I don't count that because it was broken. Right. What's what's your highest um, level you've uh, obtained in one run? Honestly, I don't know. Okay. I, I only ask because I had a run yesterday morning where I reached 187. Um, and oh, jeez. I, I got um, the crown maxed out really early, and... Um, got the uh the pentagram evolved that kind of like creates extra gems and pulls them into you i think that was the uh -huh. first thing i got evolved so i i was just leveling up like crazy that was that was a wild run oh, i man. totally forgot on my projectile weapon build i did also use the duplicator ring duplicator ring's so good <laughs> it, it it's was, really good um, it was a little ridiculous mm -hmm. like i'm not gonna lie yeah the thunder loop is fine like the evolved yeah it's okay ring. um but that <laughs> it's a duplicate ring with projectiles is dumb I, I love doing it with the upgraded wand where it, like it's constantly firing and it's shooting 10 projectiles at a time everywhere like it's just it's so good man i, I love this game so much <laughs> i just mm -hmm. I, it's really like i am Usually we don't go all the way deep on on games like this during the show because um, we just usually don't have the time and there's typically just too much game there. But um, I'm 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 very thankful again for that unlock screen of just like here you go you have 138 or whatever things to do go crazy half an hour at a time let's knock these out it's like yes yep I can do um, that. I did unlock random as well by the way the the question mark character. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's a that's a fun character. <laughs> it's I don't even know. This game is so dumb in the best way, so I love it. Man. All right. Well, uh, that's a uh, week 3 here for Vampire Survivors. We got one more one more week of of bonkers to go. Uh, uh -huh. And I hope we'll see you all next run. Bye.
Bye.